everyone, and I thank you guys so much for tuning in to yet another episode of My Orchid Adventures with me, Maria Young. So in today's episode, I have a very, 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 very special episode for you because I am going to be sharing with you one of the best kept secrets in Orchidville. And as you guys know, sharing is caring, so I definitely want to share it with you so that I can also give you guys the same opportunity that I have had. That's right, the same opportunity to own one of a kind, very specialized, very unique orchids at such an affordable rate. And you're about to find out right here, right now. Okay, folks, so let me go ahead and share the story with you on how I came across such a phenomenal discovery. Well, number one, you guys already know I am like a Vanda fanatic. I mean, it's so bad, folks, that if you guys were to cut me, I swear I would bleed Vanda. I am that addicted, folks. So because I'm so addicted to Vandas, I find all sorts of ways to get my grubby little Vanda-loving hands on orchids. And I mean, I've done the flea market thing, I've done the Craigslist thing, I do the eBay thing, like oh my gosh, you name it, I have done it. For Vandas, I will walk across fire for them. Well anyways, I was on eBay doing my little eBay thing, as you guys know, and I happened upon four Vandas that I had never ever seen before. I'm talking about some spectacular combination, some spectacular hybridization going on there and I just absolutely had to have them. So indeed, folks, I absolutely did. And here they are right here. And one of the things that I noticed about each Vanda was this delightful tag that had some information on there that absolutely led me to this phenomenal discovery. And here, folks, this is exactly what I've seen. As you can see here, this is the number or the title of the Vanda, also the Vanda name. And then you will see the two crosses or the two parents of the Vanda. And if we go ahead and flip the tag around, you're going to notice all of the business information from the company that actually distributes these Vandas. So I've seen Moats Orchids, and I definitely had to get my personal information on what Moats Orchids is all about. And oh my gosh, folks, I was so amazed at what I found out. Okay, folks, and what I did find out that these particular orchids were actually hybridized by an orchid expert that is not only an orchid enthusiast, but has been a grower for over 60 years and has been hybridizing orchids for over 25 years. Like, wow, folks, wow. And also, not only that, he has also written books and also has had articles written all about him. So indeed, he is quite an expert expert in the orchid realm. So that within itself really excited me. And then to find out folks that it's not just him, but it includes his wife and his family in this orchid business. So it is a rich family tradition. You are not only dealing with individuals that grow and sell orchids, but you are actually dealing with individuals that are truly passionate about what they do and is truly not just a hobby, not just something to do, but indeed is quite a way of life for them. So that is what really interested me in finding out more and also that is what won me over and I have to say folks I am 100% a moats addict and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay folks and this is my Vanda moats collection as it stands right now. As you can see I have already so many and we are talking about a two months time span where I have collected all of these Moats Vanda orchids right here, folks. And what makes matters worse, oh my gosh, I still have many 
on their way to me and as a matter of fact i'm hoping they arrive today and if they do i'll be able to show you guys exactly what you get right when you get them straight out of the package but as you can see here folks i have been completely and totally vandified by moats orchids and i am an addict already and i want to talk to you about why i have become such an addict of the moats vanda okay so you you guys want to know exactly what makes me such an addict to these moats vandas right because i'm totally fruit loopy about these vandas well i have to tell you that i can truly appreciate its sentimental value in the fact that i know these orchids are so unique so unique in fact that i am the only one that will ever have these kinds of vandas okay so how does that work right because it sounds just a a little bit far-fetched I mean one-of-a-kind orchids no one will ever have them come on right no 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 folks I am telling you the absolute truth because the way it works is if you are growing orchids from seedlings meaning that even though they come from the same brood or the same seed pod does not mean that each plant coming from that seed pod is going to be identical as a matter of fact they are not going to to be identical and each and every one of the orchids will be different just depending on what hereditary traits they take from the mother plant and the father plant whether or not they're going to be a certain color certain pattern certain formation in the sepals and the petals will all be determined by that but because they can take so many aspects from the mother or the father again each orchid will actually be different and that's how you will get one of the kind orchid now not only that folks I will tell you that these orchids are not common at all. You will not find them in your local grocery stores. No, 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 no. You will not find them in your local garden centers or your nurseries. As a matter of fact, the only place you can get these Vandas is from the source itself. And that is through Moats Orchids. So indeed, that is quite phenomenal. And you know what? It may makes me feel that much more special to know that I, me, me, will have the only one of these orchids. Oh my. So let me go ahead and show you exactly what kinds of orchids you will get. And I'm not going to show you individually because I have so many most orchids, but what I will show you is some pictures of some of the orchids that I have. So just to let you know exactly how spectacular they are. But before I do, you know what, folks, I got a pleasant surprise. And indeed, you know what, I have something else to show you guys. And look here, folks, like, oh my gosh, special delivery for Maria Young. Okay, so what is in the box? As you can see on top right here is newspaper just for added protection for the precious little guys underneath. And if we take a look here, you're also seeing styrofoam in here as well for, again, added protection. And here, folks, is the infamous Vanda orchids right here. And as you can see, they are coming to you bare-rooted, where you can do absolutely whatever you want to do with them, whether or not you want to put them in a hanging basket or perhaps directly on a wire hanger or even mounted. It is totally up to you folks. And here's the incredible thing about ordering from Moats Orchids is that they charge you a flat shipping rate of $12 no matter how many orchids you order from them. So indeed, it is a incredible opportunity to get a lot of orchids and you're not gonna have to be charged or worry about being charged uh, excruciating amount or price for the shipping and handling. Okay folks and just as a recap on the phenomenal opportunity that you are getting with Moats orchids right here. Number one these are very unique orchids as a matter of fact one of a kind. These orchids are not mass produced as a matter of fact they are limited in quantity. They do not sell their orchids at wholesale so you are not going to find these orchids at your common local garden centers at 
your nurseries and you definitely will not find these orchids in a grocery store folks to get these orchids right here you've got to go straight to the source which is moats orchids now we also talked about the size of these orchids again these are miniature dwarf size so indeed folks even though they are small they are close to blooming size it's not going to take that long at all for them to come into maturity and of course give you their awesome blossoms for sure now also this is going to save you on a whole lot of space on these orchids because again these are like a quarter size of your common size vandas these are not going to get humunga dunga on you so not to fret folks on these guys right here just as a size comparison this is the miniature vanda moats orchid and here we have alongside is your commonly found orchid and as you can see here folks yeah quite a considerable difference in size this is actually about a quarter of the size of the actual commonly found vanda so you can imagine the space you will be saving with these miniature orchids and we also talked about affordability the ones that i actually got were between 10 to 12 dollars can you believe it 10 to 12 dollars on these phenomenal one of a kind orchids now i will will tell you that there are some that are a little bit higher in price well not just a little bit but some of them a lot well I will tell you that they are certainly worthy of the price because he does have some very unique very rare orchids very specialized orchids as well so indeed some of those orchids like the one that I spoke about in another video the Karina Moats Vanda orchid the black Vanda that indeed is worthy of its price price so indeed there is a variation in price but majority of their seedling vandas again are between 10 to 12 dollars very affordable as you can see here and also for the fragrance lovers out there you know who you are the sniffers of the world these vandas majority of them are also very very fragrant these vandas come from all over the world at least the parents do in which he is hybridizing and he is coming up with these very specialized very beautiful very unique orchids and indeed they are just quite a rare treat to have and especially at such an affordable price I guarantee you you guys are not gonna find these type of deal anywhere else okay folks and here we are online at www.motesorchids.com and indeed I wanted to take you on a brief stroll through all of the wondrous orchids that he has so many different hybrids and types of vandas that indeed just has my mouth watering each time i go onto this site and each time i come here i get even more excited and anxious to see mind bloom to be able to see all of the parents and the varieties that you know these seedlings are coming from is very very exciting because i know even still mine will have a variation also no two seedlings will be alike so indeed just very very anxious and seeing all of these orchids i tell you my mouth is watering and i am just so so excited so anxious and very happy that i am the proud owner of many of these Moats Vanda orchids, indeed. Oh, and before I forget, I did want to mention that Moats Orchids is actually having a winter orchid show, and it is one of the best winter orchid shows that there are around. So definitely, if you are in the Miami area, please be sure to check out the Tay Miami Orchid Show that's going to be held on January the 23rd and also January the 24th, which is a Saturday and a Sunday. Now, Moats Orchids is going to be there. Also, Tom Ritter's Orchids is going to be there. And a whole slew of other phenomenal vendors are going to be there as well. So you definitely want to check it out. And again, I'm going to be there, folks, and I would love, love, love to meet all of my orchid buddies. So again, if you are in the area, Area, please be sure to check out the Tay Miami Orchid Show.
And with that being said, folks, I thank you guys so much for tuning in to yet another episode of My Orchid Adventures with me, Maria Young. And if you guys like this video, please be sure to give it two green thumbs up. And if you guys want to stay tuned for these kinds of videos and stay up to date to the latest and greatest news of My Orchid Adventures, please be sure to subscribe. And also, if you guys want to follow me on my Facebook adventures, please be sure to do that as well. And you can can do that at My Orchid Adventures. If you guys want to contact me via snail mail, please feel free to do that as well. And you can do that at the following address right here. Again, I thank you guys so much for tuning in. And as always, I love you all. Mwah! Another episode, another episode. Chicka, 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 chicka. Well, number one, I can tell you folks that I can truly appreciate its sentimental value in its uniqueness, in the fact that these cars are so loud and they keep passing by. And you can do that at My Orchid Adventures right on Facebook. Doggone noisy car. Hmm. And bird. Excuse you. Hello. I am filming. Is that a? Yep. That is a bird. Shut up. Shut up right now. And definitely don't poop on me. Oh, did I say that out loud? Ice cream truck. I don't know. Do you guys want some ice cream? Cause I don't want some ice cream. You know what I want? I want to finish filming. Is that okay? Can I finish filming? for crying out orchids. And with that being said, I'd like to thank you guys again. What is this, a bird convention? Like really, seriously folks? <laughs> that I am the only person that will have these bandas. So how in the world does that work, right? Well, it works by these helicopters flying in the air while I'm filming. No, it doesn't folks, but you know, I just had to have an explanation to why they are driving me crazy. I normally am not this nuts, trust me, but don't talk to my husband because he might have something else to say. 